In today's video, we recap the Jordan 4 Red Thunder exclusive access drop as well as the Hibbit results for the in-store raffle. We also will discuss updates on in-store and pre-order access for Finish Line and JD Sports. And remember when I said we would see more patent leather breads? It's happening. What's good YouTube family? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. Thanks to all the new subs. Thanks for everybody, you know, commenting, chiming in. To see 243 subs in, what, 28 days? Dude, I appreciate that so much, man. This has been bananas. We're more than halfway to 500 subs. Definitely trying to get there so we can open up that community tab so I can engage with you guys more. Now we can stop getting all mushy and let's get to why you came to this video. Finish line has done it again. Now, while I didn't get in-store access, I did, however, get exclusive access for the pre-orders on men's and grade school. Oh, and just a side note, uh, one thing that I did find out for sure this release, if it has exclusive access up under the release and you go to the screen where it says view offer, for a second, I did think that that meant that you would get exclusive access, but we debunked that theory this past release. So my wife's account, she's still general admission because of the new year and my account, I've gotten to A-list. Now they both said the same thing. They both had the view offer and you know, exclusive access, it drops on January 15th. But when I go to my rewards page, I had the exclusive access icons. When we went to hers, it didn't show anything. Aww. Now they changed up the release at least to my knowledge, of exclusive access. And I must admit, this was a great attempt at getting rid of some of that website traffic. The icons went up around 10.45 a.m. EST. So it was about 15 minutes before drop time and it had a timer and it showed that in 15 minutes, exclusive access will go live. Now, I think that there's some genius to this. What I think the purpose of it was is for people who don't have access, you have about a 10 minute, uh, about a 15 minute buffer in order for you to check, go to the app and see, do you see the icon? And if you don't see the icon, that means you don't have access. I guess they were trying to weed out some people, give them a grace period, go in, check, see if you got it. If you don't have it, I guess they were assuming that people would exit the app and not crowd up so much space so that people who did have access could go in and claim their access. Now, in theory, this sounds like a good idea, but we know how persistent we are in the sneaker culture. So maybe, maybe this might catch on over time, but then again, Soul Leaks might just come through, tweet, and then Thanos the whole website. Inevitable. Oh, I almost forgot. I talked to a finish line rep. You remember how we used to be able to get in-store and exclusive access for the pre-orders? Now, some people may still be able to depending on the stock and, and their local finish line. This is what I was told from the finish line rep. It is very unlikely that you will be given both in-store and digital access releases limited to one per customer. I don't know if they nerfed it or if it's because, you know, more people are starting to take part in the status exclusive access releases. I'm assuming that their plan was that you were supposed to get either one or the other, but if there's not enough participation and there's more stock, you probably will be in line to be able to get both in-store and online pre-order access. Now for this Hibbits raffle, I still can't believe I actually hit. Now the Hibbit raffle was drawn around 12 p.m. EST yesterday. Man, I say EST so much. Y'all low-key got me scarred, man. Ever since the first couple videos, I didn't say whether it was EST, PST, CST, EMT, WWE. And I just wanna make sure you guys are getting the right information and that I try to make it to where you have to do as little conversion as possible. But anyway, I haven't gotten any raffle wins with Hibbit since the Bordeaux ones. So this stock had to be thick. <laughs> In order for me, of all people to hit on a Hibbit raffle. Also, it should be noted that I did enter in the lightning round. So the lightning round is pretty much an extra chance for you to be able to be in line. And also it states that the lightning round is a component of our launch raffle program that provides customers with an additional opportunity to win launch shoes that were not claimed by winners on the regular launch raffle. So if people don't confirm their pairs in time, this would mean that whoever's next up is almost like a wait list. If you wanna equate it to something, it's like the wait list. And it's also worth noting that entering the lightning round, whether you're chosen or you're not chosen is good because if you don't have to worry about confirming your win, you don't have to worry about taking an L. So when it comes to Hibbis raffles, when you're chosen, you have to go to the app and confirm your win. If you enter in with the lightning round, they confirm for you. Now, they don't offer this on every release, and I would highly suggest using this lightning round opportunity if it's available. Now, 
more bread ones. In a previous video, I was speaking about a lot of, you know, flex stores got late shipments. Now, if you go back and look on the Flex app, Foot Locker have men's and grade school listed. Foot Action, they have men's and grade school listed. Champs has men's and grade school listed. Now, Kids Foot Locker have grade school listed. East Bay do not have them listed. Now, don't forget, Flex results go out at 5, starting at 5 p.m. today. Turn on your notifications because you'll get notified through push notifications whether you're a winner or you're waitlisted or you didn't win. Um, because if you can't necessarily get in right when they pull names to confirm your win, you do have an hour from the time that they, they uh, make you aware that you won that you can go in and confirm your win. And you know, the app usually glitches. I mean, it's, it's Flex app, come on. Be patient, make sure you check it. Don't forget to confirm. Don't forget to confirm. Also, I got a couple videos for you guys pertaining to my, you know, kill the hype hats. Also have another unboxing video for a real special item that I'm excited about. I've been waiting so long to get this item and I can't wait to unbox it and open it and share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know the deal. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more, subscribe to the channel. Good luck on uh, the Red Thunder 4s. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Have fun picking up your pairs. Be careful, but have fun picking up your pairs and I'll see you in the next video.